One of the most famous giant crocodiles of all time is a man-eating Nile crocodile named Gustav. Gustav is a Nile crocodile who lives in Lake Tanganyika and has reportedly been killing people since 1987. He has gained a lot of attention over time and it was even claimed that he had a kill count of over 300 people. Not only that, he supposedly ate an entire hippo. However, something that was undeniable was how huge this crocodile was. Out of all the crocodiles seen in his territory, he was obviously the biggest, a true boss croc. If you want to learn more about the history of this crocodile and if he's still alive, you can watch my previous Gustav video. But for now, let's focus on how big this giant actually was. The size of Gustav is something of legendary status, and many have suggested he is the largest now crocodile ever documented. When it comes to visual estimates from locals, some have claimed he is anywhere from 30 to 40 feet long. To compare this to other crocodilians, that's a size that is comparable to extinct species such as Dinosuchus. Historically, there have been claims of very large modern-day species of crocodiles reaching this size, including Niles, but the evidence is limited and not conclusive. However, once a documentary crew was sent to Burundi to focus on this crocodile, a better but not 100% clear perspective of this crocodile's size was shown. Footage from the documentary showed Gustav next to some adult hippos, and while it shows he is massive, the 30 to 40 foot claims are definitely wrong. Patrice Fay, the man who named Gustav and became obsessed with him for several years, thought that Gustav was around 18 to 21 feet long. The footage shown here is when Patrice was actually able to get somewhat close to the crocodile. Another scientist by the name of Dr. Allison Leslie also saw Gustav during the documentary and believed it to be around 18 feet long. However, the problem with these two assertions is that the length of Gustav was estimated based on visual estimates. Even experts have a hard time telling the exact size of a crocodilian from a distance, and it doesn't help either that Gustav is a very heavy set individual. No matter how long a crocodile is, if it's a bulkier animal it is going to look longer than a thinner one of the same length. Therefore, these visual estimates only give us a rough idea of how big he is. It also does not help either that there is very limited data on 20 foot plus crocodilians. Only one 20 footer has ever been seen and studied alive, so it's very hard to tell if Gustav is a 20 foot animal. However, there is one man that may be the most qualified to tell if Gustav is around 20 feet. That man is Mark Gonswana, a crocodile expert who is most likely the only person in the world to see both Gustav and Lolong when they were alive. Mark was part of the documentary crew along with Faye and Leslie to capture Gustav and was able to see how big he was for multiple days. Mark Gonswana was also brought over to the Philippines to help with the captive care of Lolong, who was 20 feet 3 inches long, shortly before he died. Therefore, he was able to spend some time and truly appreciate just how big of a crocodile Lolong was. With these two experiences in mind, Mark is perhaps the only person to get a good grasp of how big Gustav was compared to a true 20 footer. When asked how big he believed Gustav was, Mark truly believed that Gustav was around 20 feet, a true monster croc. In addition to this, he believed that the overall size difference of an 18 foot versus a 20 foot crocodile was massive. Of course, this is still based on rough visual estimates, but this adds more credibility to just how big Gustav was. While I personally have not found a way to tell how big Gustav is, such as head ratios, which at least for salties now seems to be an imperfect method, I found at least one source that tried to find this out. Through several methods, including, but not limited to, looking at the documentary footage, comparing Gustav to other crocodiles, and the hippos he was with, the author estimated Gustav to be between 18 and 19 feet long. The author also listed the ratio for this crocodile to be around 1 to 8 which is a larger ratio for Nile crocodiles and fits with the older theory of larger crocodiles having smaller heads compared to the rest of their body. While we will not be able to tell just how big Gustav is until we actually measure him, I believe there is no denying he is one of the largest Nile crocodiles caught on video. God only knows how big this beast was. Hey everyone, just thought I'd give a brief update on the Bujang Sinong video since you have all been very patient for that video to come out. I just thought I'd outright say and be blunt that I do not know when the video is going to come out. I have been working on that video for a bit, but because of my hectic schedule, everything's fine, everything's good in my life, but there are things that I need to focus on and take care of, um, especially since they're career related. I need to focus my attention on that. So that's kind of 
eaten up a lot of my time that I could have spent working on the video, but unfortunately I need to focus my time on that. Now, I just want to say too that part of the reason why I haven't gotten the video out is because I believe this is going to be a longer type of video. And not only that, I think it's going to be a little bit of a different style video than what you're used to seeing from my channel. And part of that is because there is so much history and folk folklore, excuse me, folklore is tied to this crocodile. It, it, I think this is going to be a really interesting and high quality video. And because of that, I don't want to rush it. I want to take my time with it. I want to make sure that I'm giving quality content because as I've said before, something that I'm really, really proud of about this channel, especially with this type of topic is that I try to give quality information, especially with this topic of giant crocodiles. There was a lot of BS and just absolutely just garbage content. And I'm proud to say that I'm not part of that. I, I try to give quality content for this subject. And with all that being said, I don't want to rush it. Now, with that being said as well, I do want to give you all some type of content related to this crocodile. So what I'm thinking is, is releasing the video in parts. So I'm thinking of releasing it in two parts. There will be one part, a part one and then a part two. Now at the same time, if you would all would rather want the video out as one longer video, let me know if you want that too, because I want to make you guys as an audience happy um, because you're supporting me and you've been very patient with me. So whatever you all would want, I'll do that. So if you want the video in parts, let me know. If you would rather have the video be one longer video, let me know as well. Bottom line, I just want to make sure that I am giving you all content that you are going to enjoy. So, um, as I said, I don't know when the video is going to come out. I'm not going to give any type of estimations on when I think the video will come out or the videos will come out if I do release it in parts. It's just going to be when the video comes out, the video comes out. Simple as that. Um, maybe I'll make an announcement the day before it comes out just to let you know like, hey, check out tomorrow morning because that's when the video is going to come out. But I'm not going to say anything like, oh, I'm working on this. I think it'll come out, you know, this weekend or whatever, because unfortunately I haven't been able to promise um, or keep my promises when I've said I think the video is going to come out at this time or at this date. So I uh, just wanted to keep you all updated. Thank you all for the support. And I really can't wait to get this video done. Thank you. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.